Hello everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to be playing some Judgment. So, uh, yesterday's video I did ranked, so I figure I'll do Judgment now. I actually just came off of a Judgment run. I just, uh, streamed a whole Judgment run, and I went 5 for 5 with a great growth deck. So that was a nice 2,000 gold and a bunch of cards. And also, so I'll be, I'll be doing it on my main, I'm 1979 rating. And my alt right now is 1937 rating, and it's number 3, so I like where I am right now. I don't think I'm going to make a push for number two just yet, but we're fine. Now we're going to make a judgment deck, and it looks like energy because there's two dust earners here. The rest of this row is kind of crap. The rest of this row is kind of crap. Focus is okay, I guess. This is either one of these. I'll take the mortar because it's an awesome wall. Tick bomb's cool. I'll take Dust Runner. Dust Runner. Hmm. Storm Runner. And now we have no more energy. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna go for. We have a little bit of decay. Well, this roll kind of sucks, anyways. I think we'll just take the Bear Paw because it just sucks. Ether Hump's cool. I could take Brother the Wolf. Uh, sorry about that. That was a notification I got. Um, I will take the Darkling. Uh, Ripper's cool too. I'll take the Brother of the Wolf. Ether pump. Two stack hearts, but I don't think we're gonna be doing that. Ripper. Hunter. Over the proximity charge. Spark. Scatter gunner. Ripper. Ripper. I don't know, Staggard, I guess. Oh, now we have to make a decision. Do we go with Decay or do we go with Energy? In Decay, I have a Darkling, three Rippers, and a Hunter. And then I could get a Witch Doctor. In Energy, I have... I think, even though we have a little bit more Energy cards, I think... In Decay, we're going to be better, though. Even though we're going to have this guy, too. But a Witch Doctor is going to be so good. I'm going to go for Decay. So I'll take the... Maybe I'll splash in some energy, so I'll go. Because I also see a soul steal here. And now we don't see any more decay, okay. Uh. Darn. A lot of ragged wolves. Oh, there's a big energy thing now. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't have gone with that uh, witch doctor. You man, we're kind of all over the place. I don't think we're in order though. How far are we in growth? Six. Gro I think we're more in energy now. I should have taken that cannon automaton. Oh well. I missed it. Oh, there's another cannon on top. Not too bad. We're, we're getting good cards. We could have had two cannon automatons, but... I mean... What were we going to do? Uh, efficiency could be cool. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just take it. Uh, gives order how much ordered we have three order cards and they are efficiency focus and horn of ages
Let's see. Uh, I guess I like the deck. Kind of want to add in these cards though. So now we have that kind of deck. Growth, we could add in Ragged Wolves and stuff. So I think, yeah, I think that's a better idea. So we'll take out these three. Uh, we'll take out that. We'll put in two Ragged Wolves, a Brave. Or would we rather go with four Rippers? Yeah, I think we're more in Decay, so I'll take out these guys. Go with four Rippers. Let's get rid of Catapult Goo. Uh, a Darkling and a Soul Steel. Okay. So not a great deck here. The deck I just made when I was playing Judgment, like on my stream a few uh, minutes ago, was much better. It was like a mono growth deck. I had Yarls, uh, Sister of the Owls, God Hand. It was nice. Let's see if I could scratch out another five out of five with this deck though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it though. The deck is not that strong. Now let's hope somebody gets in a match. Alright. So, I'm on my main account right now, so I have all these decks. Here's my main account stats 56,000 gold on this account. I have 35,000 gold in the other account. I'm just trying to save up gold for Rebellion. Maybe I should buy one of these guys. My avatar's a little plain. We have Scout Automaton there. Let's just see if anybody wants to buy a Scout Automaton for. Get a little profit. Alright. Come on, Judgment Match. Find the Judgment Match. Okay, so if anybody wants to, uh, oh, I didn't know there's a bunny on the scout auto. It's cool. Come on, judgment match. Find a judgment match. Do we have a watcher for that guy? Do we have an extra watcher? Nope. We only have three watchers. Oh well. Okay, so I may or may not edit this out. Waiting for a match to find. Up oh, there we go. Okay. Good luck. And with a pretty good hand, we'll go. Sax the Siege Cracker. No, I'll actually sack the Outcast. So I'll go with Dust Runner to initiate Siege Cracker. Maybe else I have to sack the Ogre. I mean, we are going to recycle pretty fast. Mr. Cobby. <laughs> and... 
doesn't get anything. Charge Coil is nice against growth especially, so I'm actually going to sack the Ogre. I don't really want to sack the Ogre, but we're going to recycle soon, so it doesn't matter. It would probably hurt me more than help me if I just kept on holding onto that Ogre trying to sack the 7. It will happen eventually. Okay, he gets a Brave. So... I'm going to go for a few structures here. So now I'm threatening that Brave. So he has to protect it. Tool Initiate can actually increase that uh, Mortar's attack every turn, but... I think it's probably more worthwhile to attack for two every other turn. We'll see. And when is this minus one attack for the charge quill going to go away? Okay. He is moving up. Is he, does he have anything to protect? He does. Okay. Three damage on my mortar. Not a big deal. Now, I'll charge coil. I'm be behind so I can maybe kill that brave next turn. Put the charge coil up here. All right. So we got off to a good start. I think this first match will be a win. If you didn't know, for these judgment videos, though, I only play. I I show drafting the deck, and then I show the first match. Except for I think one of the videos. I think maybe the last one. I just drafted two decks, and I didn't play any matches. But if you want to see me do whole judgment judgment runs and stuff, then just go ahead and follow me on Twitch because I stream pretty frequently now. It's a lot of fun. And I get pretty good turnouts usually. Sometimes it's like 20 viewers, and then like one time it was like 60, so. Hop, stop on by by the stream, and I might be doing some like scroll giveaways, stuff like that. And, okay. So now. I'll sack the Darkling to play the Metal Wonder. I'll move you back here because I want a chance. There's a 50% chance I kill this Brother of the Wolf then because if the Charge Quill hits that, then I kill it. Or if this Mortar hits one of them, that'd be awesome. Uh, and then I'll move you up. Put the Metal Wonder in front so that can't kill my guy there. Alright, come on, hit the brother. Yes. Okay, so now he could put two damage on my charge, on th any of my structures. I have my three structures out. He could put two damage on any one. Not a huge deal. I prefer him to do it on the mortar because the mortar's probably not, but it looks like he's going for the charge coil because he has that to protect his guy. Okay, so he's gonna. Destroy the charge coil with a focus. Uh, sack the dust runner, and I get a burn. It's nice. And should I increase this guy's attack? Nah, I'm just going to deal some damage to the idol. There's no point in really increasing this thing's attack. Five damage is enough to kill almost everything, and the chance of it hitting is very slim. So, let's see. Now, I'll sack the Corrode, even though that could give me an early win. I, uh, I want to be able to sneak in this cannon auto next turn, and I wanted to get both those creatures out. Could have had two cannon automatons in this deck if I didn't take that Witch Doctor, but at that time I think the Witch Doctor was the better pick. 
nothing now. Probably sack whatever comes up for the cannon. Okay, aging knight. So that's just probably to protect. I'll kill one of those guys. And a stag cart. Okay. At least that metal wonder is going to work. Uh, didn't want to sack the storm runner, but I want to get this cannon auto out. You know what, I'm just thinking, I don't think there's a point in attacking this aging knight. Because both of these guys are dead to the dust runners and this guy kills them also, so I'm not going to attack the aging knight. Alright. So he can choose what he wants to attack. He can destroy my metal wonder. He can kill one of my dust runners and put some damage on my cannon automaton. That's probably the best play for him to kill the dust runner and put some damage on my cannon auto. But I think we have a clear advantage right now. All right. Still sorry if I sound a bit uh weird. I'm still sick. <laughs> I have no cards. I got no cards. Okay, so he's gonna go for that. Hopefully he doesn't have a focus. Okay. So, now that thing can take me out. Ether pump is something I wanted to play, but I guess I can't. And I have a... That's pretty good. I'll plating you so you can't take that damage right there. And then I'll spark you. Yeah. And now I will uh, hope that this mortar can somehow hit one of these two guys. Nope. Wrong side of the board, mortar. We can't even see your face. Now we can see your face. The dust runner covering it with his health, with his two health, his little heart. <sighs> so if he's a ragged wolf or something or no he's just surrendering so GG WG alright so hopefully I can go 5 for 5 in this uh thing but like I said that's gonna do it for uh this video so thanks for watching like the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you want more content and I'll see you all next time keep on scrolling everybody